Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. So the other day I received a sample pair of the replacement feet for the Hammond Collection Rex from Rod's Random Work and Surat Tech. And I wanted to put together a quick video showing you how I removed the big feet and painted up the new ones that I was sent. Uh, there isn't a whole lot to the painting process, but just in case anyone out there plans on grabbing a pair and you want some resources to turn to, you'll have this video to help you out. Uh, so these feet are sculpted by Rod and printed, assembled, and distributed by Surat Tech, and they will be available on Gary's Etsy store. So I'll drop a link in the description box below so you can grab a set if that's your thing. So the first step will be getting the factory feet off. And for that, we're gonna have to leave the paint room and head upstairs to the compound kitchen to boil some water to heat the plastic up enough so I can pop the feet off. So I've just boiled some water in a pot on the stove and I'm gonna put some gloves on so when I go to pop the feet off, I don't burn my hands with all that hot water. And I'm gonna transfer the boiling water into a cool pot. That way the plastic from the T-Rex feet doesn't like accidentally stick to the bottom of the pan because it is super hot. I'm just trying to keep the shenanigans down to a minimum. So I'll just dip the T-Rex into the boiling water and I'll let it sit there for a couple of minutes until the plastic becomes soft and gummy. Uh, and then it's just as simple as uh, giving the feet a little tug and they should pop right off. And then you can take your new set of kicks and gently heat the peg hole with a hair dryer and pop them on. Uh, this is just a side note, do not dip the new feet into the boiling water. Uh, that message comes straight from Gary. Uh, it could potentially ruin the resin. So just a little gentle heat from a hair dryer will be sufficient enough to heat the resin up. That way you can just pop the peg right into the hole and they'll be locked in and ready for paint. So to make this process a little easier for everyone, Gary has printed the feet in the base skin tone to match the Hammond Collection Rex plastic. So all that will need to be done is to apply a little dark brown paint on the tops and then of course paint the claws. So I'll be using Vallejo Dark Brown uh, through the airbrush, but um, you could hand paint these if you don't have an airbrush with just a little dark brown paint. You could even probably just dry brush your brown paint on. Uh, just experiment with some different browns until you find one that blends in real nice. So I'm just going to lay down a couple of thin coats of the dark brown until I build up a nice dark fade on the tops of the feet. And just to be sure, I'll blend it up into the ankle section a little bit just to help that transition out. Now it's time to paint the claws, and for that, I've just mixed some dark brown and black together, and I'll apply a thin coat of that, and then give it a blast with my heat gun to dry it, and then apply one final coat. And the last step will be to take some light gray and very gently dry brush the claws to get the details that Rod has sculpted to show through. It is just a minor detail, but it really does help make the claws pop. And just like that, the clown feet are gone, Rod's feet are on, and this T-Rex is one step closer to being my definitive Jurassic Park T-Rex action figure. We just need to get rid of those blunt, dull-looking teeth and get some sharp fangs on this girl. But that will be a video for another day. Again, a big thanks to Rod and Gary for sending over a sample set for me to work with. As someone who does a lot of photography, I really appreciate the added articulation that they put on the toes. It really does take this figure to the next level and allows for even more dynamic posing and yes the Rex can balance and stand on one leg but this really depends on how tight your leg joints are your mileage may vary but if you want to grab a set the links will be in the description box below so that is all I've got for this video you guys take care and I'll see you around the compound